Victorial Elevation was a large-scale interactive installation that transformed Mexico City historic center using searchlights control over the internet. The Zocalo Square was built over the ceremonial grounds of the ancient Aztec city of Tenochtitlan. In its construction, colonial architects reused the stones that once supported pyramids and temples. Measuring 240 by 220 meters, the Zocalo is the world's third largest square, holding over 200,000 people. The Zocalo is still the center of Mexican cultural, political and religious life. Every day, street vendors, performers, protesters, and artists enliven the area. Emblematic buildings around the square include the National Palace, the Municipal Government Buildings, the Supreme Court of Justice, the Templo Mayor Aztec Ruins, and the Metropolitan Cathedral. For Victorial Elevation, 18 powerful xenon searchlights were placed on the roofs of buildings around the square. The lights were positioned to maximize the coverage area over the sky. A website was set up so that participants could control the searchlights remotely. The site included instructions, live video and a 3D interface. Requests were automatically organized in a first-come, first-served queue. Visitors could see the relative position of their design on the queue, as well as current usage statistics. At the heart of the site was a 3D interface entirely written in Java. The applet allowed control and navigation of a VRML model of the Zocalo without the need for any third-party plugins. The interface was used by participants to submit their own vectorial elevation designs. On the left, there is a control area for selecting and pointing the searchlight beams, and on the right is a visualization area with virtual navigation tools. Moving the target would direct light beams to intersect at the target location. The disorder button would incrementally disorder the current pattern. The user could select one of 11 preset camera locations, this would quickly display the design from a variety of chosen perspectives. The virtual model could also be navigated with six buttons to look and go in any direction. A fall button would introduce gravity and bring the virtual camera back to the ground level. The searchlights on a particular building could be selected by using a drop-down menu. For example, you could select the six lights that were on the roof of the National Palace or select the three lights on the Old Town Hall building. You could also pick individual searchlights by clicking on their selection checkbox or on the VR window itself. Other options included buttons to invert a selection and to select or deselect all the lights. Target movements only applied to selected light beams. A height control bar could change the height of the target from 30 meters to 1 kilometer. The model could be made to rotate automatically in any direction at different speeds. Once a user was satisfied with a design, he or she would press the next button to send it to the queue in Mexico. A form would appear with fields for name, location and comments information used later to create a personal archival web page that documented the design. Victorial elevation took place between the 26th of December 1999 and the 7th of January of 2000, every night from 6.30 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. Every six to eight seconds, a new design submitted over the internet was rendered in the Zócalo. This is Robin 
Badger coming up. On a clear night, the searchlight beams could be seen from a 10 kilometer radius, reaching hundreds of thousands of people in the world's most populous city. The piece was not intended as a cathartic millennium show, but rather as an ephemeral intervention that would have no linear narrative. The designs were unique light sculptures that would never be repeated, looped or sequenced. The piece was proposed as an occasion to reflect on urban issues of interdependence, deterritorialization and collective representation. The Sokolos monumental size makes the human scale seem insignificant, an observation that has been noted by some Mexican scholars as an emblem of a rigid, monolithic and homogenizing environment. Searchlights themselves have been associated with authoritarian regimes, in part due to the military precedent of anti-aircraft surveillance. Indeed, the Internet itself is the legacy of a military desire for distributed operations control. By ensuring that participants were an integral part of the artwork, Vectorial Elevation attempted to establish new creative relationships between controlled technologies, ominous urban landscapes, and a local and remote public. When a submission was received in Mexico, it would be numbered and entered into the queue. The searchlights would orient themselves automatically to render the participants' design, and three webcams would take pictures of the design to document it. Here. 